This morning, it appears tomorrow's Syrian peace conference will go on as planned. A diplomatic flap over an invitation to Iran is now settled, but a new report claims the Syrian government tortured or killed more than 10,000 detainees since the civil war began nearly three years ago. Holly Williams recently went down to the Syrian border and joins us now from Istanbul, Turkey. Holly, good morning. Good, good morning, Clarissa and Charlie. The images in this new report are believed to show the bodies of tortured inmates in Syrian government prisons taken by a defected military photographer. The report could derail this week's peace talks, and we should warn you, we're about to show some very disturbing pictures. Some of the people in the photographs appear to have been beaten, some starved, others strangled. CBS News cannot independently verify them, and the report was funded by the Qatari government, which supports the Syrian opposition. But the investigation was carried out by three respected former war crimes prosecutors with the help of other experts. They concluded that there's evidence thousands of people have been systematically tortured and executed in Syrian prisons during the country's civil war. The picture presented by these images was one of utter and unbelievable horror. It was a picture of 11,000 odd people killed in one place. Uh, this may well be the tip of the iceberg. The report raises the prospect of a war crimes investigation into the regime of the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. It's also another blow to long-awaited peace talks. The Syrian opposition only agreed to take part in the talks at the last minute and then threatened to boycott the negotiations after the UN Secretary General invited Iran, a key ally of the Syrian regime. After the US also protested, the invitation to Iran was withdrawn. But that's angered Russia, another ally of the Syrian government. The Russian foreign minister said today that excluding Iran from the negotiations is a mistake. Even before the peace talks have begun, they are mired in argument. After nearly three years of civil war and a death toll of more than 130,000, there's little sense that either side expects these talks to achieve anything, let alone peace. Charlie and Clarissa. Holly, thank you. You've covered Syrian war uh, as well as anybody. Tell me what you think about this latest story and the photographs they have in London. We're talking about war crimes. This, this recalls images of death camps. I mean, the idea that the international community is, is, is not able to put an end to this bloodshed and to this sickness is really, it's, mm. it's just astonishing. The photographs are horrendous. I mean, They're horrendous. I mean, we couldn't show our viewers so many of them because they were just so horrendous. So. Indeed.